Hello, let's discuss the topic on inventory management. Now, there are several kinds of inventory management that we use. Uh, this In this particular session, we'll focus on um, the three models that assume deterministic demand. That is, demand is known in advance, it is known exactly the high, with high precision, and demand doesn't change. Demand is assumed to be constant. That may not be very realistic in real life. Uh, however, as a start, we it, this assumption will make our model and the mathemat mathematical manipulation a lot easier. So there are three models we will look at today, uh, starting with the most basic economic order quantity model, or we call it the EOQ model. And then we build on top of that understanding uh, quantity discount models. Uh, which implies, of course, that in model A, EOQ model, we do not have any discount. And finally, in model C, we'll uh, take up the discussion on the uh, rate of production and the rate of delivery, right? So we look at the economic production lot size model. Um, so in inventory... Okay, let me just flip over this side. So there are many reasons why we uh, like to have inventory, or actually we don't. Uh, we sometimes like to uh, prepare buffer, right, stock items for production. Sometimes we are left with no choice but to uh, to, to 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 manage our inventory. Um, then there are different types of inventory involving the input side, the raw materials, the output side, the finished products, and of course in the middle we have the work in progress. Right? So all these are considered inventory. And even if you are not working in the production, manufacturing line, industries, warehouse, uh, even in service lines we have uh, incoming raw materials to be worked on, to be served, to be given services, and then we have completed uh, materials or products. Uh, well, in this case, most of the time you'll be human customers. So uh, even if we don't like to have inventory, sometimes we are forced to, to end up uh, processing or handle them uh, no matter what. So here, there are two things you need to uh, take note of. One is the policies and the other one is to is the objective function. So when we talk about policies, when we talk about policies, we do not mean a long essay of descriptive words. What we mean by inventory policy uh, is simply referring to two quantities. How much to order and when to order. All right, so very simple. Two numbers will fully describe our uh, inventory policy. Okay, we'll talk about these two numbers uh, in much greater detail. But first, for now, is that uh, please do not confuse the use of the terms. Policy refers to two numbers: how much, how many to order, and when to order. Right. And secondly, the other word to be uh, conversant with is the sense of um, optimizing by looking at the total cost. Right, so we, our, our, in some sense, our only objective function, to borrow a word from linear programming, uh, is total cost. And here, total cost refers not uh, to, in the layman sense of the total purchasing cost. Right, so total cost, uh, abbreviated as TC, uh, is basically minimally our inventory management cost that is expenses and money that you pay in addition to owning or buying uh, the, 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 the inventory and the goods and sometimes optionally uh, we may also include purchase costs depending on the model right so so this is the idea here uh, even uh, essentially TC the total cost 
includes inventory management costs. And management means, for example, transporting them around, uh, preparing them, checking them, uh, inspecting them, making sure they are good for sale, and so on and so forth, right? So at the end of the day, the purchase cost of the good is still uh, there, but in addition to that, the longer we hold, the more money we have to spend um, to, to protect and secure it, uh, to make sure that it doesn't deteriorate in quality, uh, to make sure that it's not uh, stolen, etc. Right? So there are additional incidental costs in addition to purchase cost that we just collectively lump under uh, inventory management cost. Right? So we just call it that. Um, there are models uh, in inventory management that we also include purchase costs. And of course, that means there are also models that we basically by default do not include uh, purchase cost. And so take note of what is uh, to be included in the total cost calculations. Uh, by and large, the point to note is, however, all uh, inventory management policies, remember what is a policy, uh, how many to order, when to order, right? So all policies will look at just this objective function uh, in terms of uh, optimizing the, the policy, right? So when we say try to tune the policy, of course, it's tuning towards the better. Uh, the objective function to look at the yardstick of measuring what pol one policy is better than the other is to always look at the total cost, okay? Next, let's move on. Now, in discussing uh, inventory management, we like to talk about various components of costs and essentially there are uh, for a start especially in discussing the uh, EOQ model we will look at these two primary components ordering costs and holding costs right in some sense you can look at ordering costs as the cost incurred right uh, because of the intention to purchase that lot, that transaction of inventory goods. So I am buying, I'm a trader, I sell and I buy of course to replenish my goods. When I buy, that's called ordering. When customers buy from me, however, that's not customers order to me. That's uh, the way we speak here is to say that our demand is, right? So if customers buy 10 units from us, our demand is 10 units, not our order is 10 units. And that itself has no ordering cost. Um, on the other hand, when we buy from our suppliers, uh, then we incur some costs. What are some of these, co these costs? Uh, those might include uh, preparation costs, uh, management costs, management time, because for large purchases, we might need multiple levels of signature approval uh, accountants check CFOs verification and so on. Uh, we might need uh, transportation because sometimes uh, suppliers will demand that we pay for the transportation of the goods. Uh, if we purchase insurance for transportation, uh, that is included as ordering setup cost because it's to protect that cargo from, for example, Malaysia to be shipped to Singapore. Uh, without loss. Right? Uh, additionally, we might want to pay for um, what else? Uh, interests due to uh, borrowing money, buying goods. So, if the good, if the purchase involves large uh, amounts of money, and large doesn't mean uh, is is relative, right? If if it's larger than the amount of uh, uh, money we are prepared to, to pay for the goods, that, but, you, but yet we need the goods, so we may need to borrow from the banks. And of course, that will be interest charges. Uh, that, will, what, that will incur interest charges, and that means we have to bear that as ordering cost rather than holding cost. Okay, so these are some examples, and of course, that is by no means exhaustive. All right, next, we have holding cost. So, um, in holding cost, the goods have arrived at our warehouse, at our storage area. And since it has arrived, the portion of ordering cost has, has kind of uh, come to a conclusion. We, however, start to incur other costs. Of course, the 
the the the most visible is rental, right? We pay rent to rent the warehouse to store so that the goods are protected uh, throughout as a, as a sort of unit of measurement of time, we say a year, right? So if we pay $2,000 a month and we will extend it to over to, to a year, that would mean we pay uh, $24,000 a year, right? To hold, uh, for example, 100,000 pieces of goods. So rent will be a very significant part of it to store it. Of course, we also can talk about similar um, areas of expenses, such as buying insurance against uh, theft, fire, right, uh, etc. Right, other calamities. Uh, in certain countries, we. Uh, the the uh, storage area might uh, experience other uh, disasters, climate climate uh, based kind of disasters. So so those insurance costs will be uh, lumped under holding cost because uh, the key criteria is that the goods are now in our possession in our storage, whereas ordering costs the goods are along the the way you know it, on the way towards our our storage area. So rent insurance, we can also talk about um, security to protect uh, all kinds of security aspects, whether it's against theft, uh, against, against fire, against uh, pilferage, uh, and so on, right? So, so CCTV cameras, uh, uh, utilities, all right? Uh, example, if you're storing frozen goods, then certainly we are able, we, we will have to spend quite a lot of money on Paying for the utilities, and so on. Okay, so basically, that's to to uh, give a sort of a appetizer on what might constitute constitute holding costs. Now, another technical aspect to take note of is that holding cost is a cost that is always expressed as per item per year basis. All right, so uh, always. So H is always expressed as dollars per unit per year. So if 10 units of goods cost $1 to protect a month. All right, so example, if we say, uh, example, if 10 units require $1, all right, $10 per month, then h is equal to we will first of all extend it to a year so it will be ten uh, dollars that's per month right so we times 12 to get a year but that's for 10 units then we uh, denominate it to one unit so that will be twelve dollars per unit per year all right so we always express h as that even when the units are not given so make sure your h is uh, always done the same way so that when we talk about annual demand you will not uh, get sort of wrong calculations because the units don't match right okay purchase costs will be discussed uh, later on uh, in our purchase costs participation in the total cost calculation will be discussed later on in the discount based model so right now we are focusing on understanding the basic EOQ standard model so only two costs are involved, uh, ordering cost, setup cost, also known as setup cost, and holding cost. Okay, so uh, to talk about that, let me switch over to writing mode. And we can uh, now turn to our shop. Our shop sells tires. All right. So example. So let let's define some variables. I'll let D be the annual demand. And to give it some some uh, numbers to work on. So example, we'll have D equals to six thousand. Right. Then we let. Um, let uh, S be setup cost. 
and that is always